Welcome back. We're going to play some more 10 minute games on Shogi Wars. And let's change the overlay. And there we go. Good luck. UFO Silver. I get the feeling we might learn what this is. Uh, although, you know, what if I pick a strategy specifically to try to fight against what I assume is UFO Silver? What if I pick some combative strategy? So they're kind of threatening a pawn drop here, but they didn't lead off with their Silver. So this isn't UFO Silver. So perhaps we have some kind of a strategic advantage. Um, by having invited this move sequence from an opponent who plays an offbeat opening. Uh, perhaps we've obtained an advantage by ourselves playing an offbeat opening. We got him thinking. Admittedly, I'm confused too. Uh, so now they're threatening a pawn drop at our bishop's head, so we want to protect against that pawn drop. Um, and yeah, potentially if they drop again, we'll have to think of something better. Um, okay, so now I've taken the center. I've cut off the bishop. Potentially if they do something crazy, I push this pawn a second time, and we might have an advantage. Oh, joy. Um, well, then. Okay. I don't know where that leaves us. First of all, let me protect against this pawn drop and also protect against this pawn advancing again. Ordinarily, we would not lift the rook out this early, but... If the silver goes chasing our rook, we have a strong counter that we can chase the bishop. Um, also, I'm sort of lined up to play my bishop and silver on this diagonal and completely forget about the side of the board. Um, so, okay, our opponent commits to UFO silver strategy. Um... My silver is just kind of floating about, so let's try to make use of it. They've tripled down on this UFO silver strategy. Interesting. Let's see what we can do. It's going to be difficult for their pieces to defend this side of the board. Also, there is a hole here where I can drop a piece someday. All right, so they're preparing this advance, and then they're going to drop a pawn here, and I'm going to act surprised. I think that's the plan. Now, what if I mess up that plan by moving the rook here immediately? If we exchange rooks, they have to cover this point, I guess, with their king. No, they'd have to cover things like a rook drop, because um, they have too many weaknesses to defend quickly. But if I move here, they probably drop the pawn, then they're going to advance the silver. And Okay, yeah, so I don't gain any advantage there. Um, this is still bizarre. Oh, I could also fight back directly. Yes. Yeah, let's free up my bishop. If they do this direct confrontation here. My bishop can fight back and hit the silver, and that's going to be a free pawn. Um, so normally I'd bring out the bishop this way. In fact, bringing the bishop out this way would not have been a bad idea, but this idea seems like a useful alternative. Um, let's see, we're freestyling it here. Their bishop is cut off by my silver. Their silver is making it difficult for my rook to become active. 
But if they chase my rook, then it, my task becomes easier. All right, they do not chase my rook. Um, I can take this pawn. If they move up the silver, I can threaten to hit the bishop. Uh, also, if I just do nothing, my position's fine. But this pawn is hanging, and then I could... I'm not going to gain anything by chasing the bishop right now. Um, I could bring up the knight. The silver would retreat. And I've opened a hole for their rook to drop, so... Um, it's best for me to do something solid instead of something crazy. Let's do something solid. Okay. That... Nanafun. That applies a lot of pressure to my position. I don't know why I thought this was solid. I didn't move my bishop. Um... I was asking for a ton of trouble, and boy, did I get it. Because <sighs> I did not pay attention. <laughs> well, okay then. Um, if I chase... Uh, I'm surviving for a little bit. Now this is... This looks scary, but I think it's okay. If they take my pawn, my bishop can take here. They could sacrifice the rook for a bishop. Yeah, I'm a bit confused. So now I have three pieces attacking this pawn. Although if I do pawn takes pawn, they chase my bishop and it's not beneficial. If they take here, I can take with my gold. And... Uh, it's not pretty. It's not profitable. But if I don't take, it's even worse. So let's take here. If this gold, if silver takes pawn, I can threaten a rook exchange here. My king has moved off the back rank, thankfully. Um. That's puzzling. So... If I back off, that's profitable to back off, right? Silver takes, bishop takes, they promote. I take a silver, they take a gold. Um, I'm sorry, they don't promote. Yeah, if I retreat, they can take a pawn, though. I need to count this better. I very much wanted a rook exchange. I might get what I wanted. Uh, then they do this fork, and then I don't want it so much. Um... Yeah, so they have forks... They have more forks than I do. So this is a problem. If I take, silver takes, bishop takes, they don't have a fork. Um, they have a gold general, which is... Well, then they harass my rook with the gold general. <sighs> this is not great. Um... I think this is the best I can hope for here. Okay, they correctly note that I've trapped my pieces. Um, Okay, we do this really improvised thing to prevent a fork. Oh, right, they can attack me directly without a fork. That's a problem as well. Well spotted. Um...
So the questions become how fast and how far can I run? I can actually run decently here. Um, let's try to run. <laughs> it's kind of a mess. Um, but I invited this, so I should try to be happy about it. So backward we run, and then my bishop can emerge on different diagonal. It's tenuous, but it's better than nothing. I've got one pawn. Having another pawn would be nice, but that's wishful thinking. I could eventually take this pawn, right? But yeah, this thoroughly... Um, response to my ideas. Sampun. That's a sad move. Maybe it's a patient move, but boy, is that sad. Because that means I can't drop a pawn here later. This also means my rook has to retreat. Okay, but I can exchange here. They don't have a pawn right now. And I don't want to give them a lance, so we're going to take this way. Oh, they have a pawn right now. Okay, I can count. Maybe. Um, that's not great. So they're trying to obtain a lance to mess up my day. Um, yeah, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. This is not good. Okay, they're going to obtain my rook. Again, I'm going to be happy with this outcome because I invited it. So, let's find a way to be happy. Okay. I guess we'll try to fight back this way. That does hit my bishop. Okay, I guess this is the best I can find. Let's take here. This looks kind of interesting. Let's take there. So we've got some compensation for everything we've lost. 
And we'll attack this silver before everything hits the fan. Um, maybe our rook becomes active in a positive way. But their king has so much space to run to that um, yeah, this doesn't look great for me. Okay. I'll take a silver general. Um. Ipun. Let's hit them where they're weakest. Which is this point. But it might be quite difficult to break through there. Uh, meanwhile, I don't know. I might try to break in the center, but things are very likely going to boomerang when I do that. Uh. Okay. So, next I might need to fight back against this knight and defend my king's ear. Or they might exchange a couple pieces. Oh, a lance drop is quite annoying, actually. Yeah, they could drop a lance in front of my gold, and I don't have a good response. I have to take. There goes my rook. There's a check. We have to respond to this. And yeah, this is not good. Um, this is quite difficult to respond to. So we defend this. They will find a way to attack it again. Or not. Um, and I need to attack something. Sanjubyo. All right, we'll use our lance to the best of our ability here. It doesn't go very far, but it does allow us to hit a gold general. And then after hitting the gold, we can aim at the bishop. Again, this doesn't go very far. Um, let's try to use a knight. Only because I'm not seeing a different score to use the knight on. Uh, but yeah, this they move up their silver, and what can I do? Not much. I have to drop my silver. Well, that doesn't work if they move out here, though. Um... Okay, let's attack. Try to defend. Uh, I don't know. This is not great. If they get too greedy, we push the center pawn and no, that doesn't do anything. Um Defend this. Hmm. Ah, I can't click. It's okay. Doesn't matter. Thanks for the game. 
All right, let's play another. So this shows that if I try to defeat my opponent's strategy, I better understand it. Good luck. And yeah, I can't defeat an opponent's strategy without understanding it first. Trying to bring my bishop to the edge last game was fatal. Let's not repeat the same mistake the same way. Let's find new ways to implement mistakes, just to keep the live stream interesting. So, once this rook retreats, I can drop another pawn. Yes, they've expanded the range for their rook, but, um, you know, this is part of this opening. I can't resist this unless I open this diagonal, and if I do open the diagonal, that's a different can of worms. This is actually fine for me, as far as I'm aware. They can't push that pawn further here without assistance from other pieces. Um, so yeah, I can, as far as I know, I can castle like this. And uh, they've blocked their bishop. I don't want to open this diagonal, do I? Um, yeah, I can just move the king out of this. I'll fight back on that point. And this is loose. Um, Let's try to use the silver. So I can take the 5-5 five, five point, right? And then threaten to push over here. Um, that would actually not be smart for me to push there. Oh, what do I do with my bishop? I don't want to block my bishop, and I don't want to push on this file either. Maybe I do. No, it just helps their pieces get active. Um, maybe this is sensible? So what's going on in this position? They've blocked their bishop very thoroughly and made it difficult for their silver to approach. Their golds are split. So this seems to be a timing where I can push in the center without any kind of opposition. Their silver's too slow to fight back. So this looks like I just get a free attack. Plus, I could consider moving my rook to the open file instead of opening a new file. If they bring the silver out, I could put drop a pawn and they could exchange silvers, but that might help me attack faster. Uh, okay, they're trying to fight back. Um... If I push, what can resist me in this square? Nothing? Yeah, this looks... Um, well, I'm sorry, they could bring up the silver. And I don't get a completely free attack. Um, so... I mean, yes, I'm getting to attack. Now, I could sack my rook here. And then bring my silver up. It's not enough. I could also offer a silver gold exchange. They retreat, and I, that doesn't get very far. Why is Rook takes not winning? Rook takes, Bishop takes. I try to promote, the Bishop runs. 
I don't have free reign to do things here. No, I could drop a pawn, threatening a gold drop. They could retreat the silver, but then I'd take here. Um, once the bishop's moved, the king can retreat no, this way. Um, I think I should just offer this exchange. And we get this exchange, so I'm threatening mate. They stop the mate threat. It was an obvious mate threat. Um, drop back here so my pieces aren't blocking each other. Uh, they offer the sacrifice, which I take. I think this is fine. So, yeah, let's allow them to promote. And see how they fight back after I have a piece in their camp. Attacking a silver and threatening mate. Now I can win a bishop. Um... Okay, let's win this bishop. Let's run from a fork. Running from a fork always loses a move, and a move is often immensely valuable. But here a bishop is also quite valuable. So, threatening a bishop drop. Um, I am so Go confused. Food. If I drop this bishop, if I drop it here, they run. Um, yeah, I think I should take this now. And that gives me another piece to attack their castle with. They might hit my rook. Um, yeah, once I hit this gold, it my rook might be able to become active here. Or if they move the gold away, hmm, I'm not sure. A rook could be a nice piece, too. <sighs> but it's not enough. Oh, let's make use of the rook this way. 
This gains a free tempo. And then I'm threatening to drop the bishop and take this. So they would exchange this dragon for my bishop, perhaps. Or perhaps not. Perhaps they just give me this. Um... What a mess. Sampun. Unloading all my pieces on their castle would be dangerous. Uh, my pieces are hanging anyway. Nifun Sanjibio. So we have three drop threats here. I guess the best they can do to defend that would be to drop a gold general, but that might not be enough to get them out of all my threats. Like, they drop it here, I have a gold silver drop here, and... wait, no, I don't have a continuation. Alright, well, this simplifies matters. They have fewer defensive pieces now. Um... Nifun. No, that doesn't mate. Strange. For whatever reason, I'm having a very difficult time reading this to mate. Perhaps there is no mate. Ippun. Feels like there's Hishi, however. 
AKA a certain checkmate, like certain death or demise. Um, Thanks for the game. Two down, one to go. Here we go. Good luck. Our user profile says go Keegan Central Rook. Their user profile says go Keegan Central Rook. I wonder what opening we're going to get this game. Okay, let's play the king to the left just to add some variety. Spice of life. Um... Oh, I can't actually recapture with this pin in effect. Not with the pin in effect. All right, now I can recapture. I've played my rook up in this position before. That results in a trapped rook. So that tends to be inadvisable. So I control the 5-5 five, five point. I also control this 5-7 point, so like they can't... If they try a pawn drop without enough support, I can win the pawn. Yeah, so they defend against my threat. So let's threaten to win the bishop on the edge of the board and see how they respond to that. A retreat. So if I approach again with the silver, does that achieve anything? It keeps three pawns back. That's not nothing. Um, I mean, the king's over here, but like this shuts down this half of the board for them. So uh, next, let's take the five-five point. Sure. Oh, this could be fun. Yes, yeah, so they build Anaguma Castle. Um, in a delayed move order. Ah, clever. Well, it feels clever. I'm not sure how good this is for them. Um, it's probably good. Yeah, my silver's on the wrong side of the board. Let's get it somewhere useful. Um, that's bizarre. That's eager. So they line up their rook with my bishop. They do get their rook off the center file, but um, not sure that this is what they had in mind. 
we unblock our bishop and also unblock our rook ask like where is their rook planning on settling okay um Hmm. I don't really want to exchange um, silvers here. However, prospect of gaining tempo after tempo is a bit alluring. Um, so. Strike while the iron is hot, wherever it makes a difference. So now I'm threatening to drop upon one rank up. This will expose a silver drop thing, and I'll have to drop the rook back to deal with it. Um, interesting. They... Yeah, now this, this is sharp stuff. Either tactically it's justified or it's not. And I don't think there's a middle ground here. So the rook is in space. Um, I could push my silver just to make things more interesting. Um, if I hit the rook, it just... They exchange silvers, they drop a silver back here, and it's not great. I think this is the correct response. So this pawn is loose. Um, this pawn is loose. Yeah, this gold could defend both, but gradually this is spiraling out of their control. Admittedly, their castle is very strong, so I'm going to have to play a very good endgame to exploit this, but hopefully I'm up to the task. Um, if not, we'll see that. But yeah, if they defend with this gold, um, I could bring up the knight, they bring the rook back, I could bring the knight up again, threaten to do something here. Uh, if they pawn drop, we exchange repeatedly, and I think I profit from this, but they have a silver drop. It's not so clear. Um, if they move the gold, if I drop a pawn, but silver, silver, gold, or bishop. Yeah, I don't... I could trap their rook, but they get this fork. This fork is just so painful. They move this gold up. If I drop back the rook immediately, they drop a pawn. My silver doesn't have anywhere good to go. Um... Nanafun. Yeah, so we're going to just vigorously fight here. I guess the rook drops back and my silver drops back. No. Okay. Uh, yeah, they hit my other weakness. Okay. If I drop a pawn, we exchange... I can defend over here. Wait, if I drop my pawn, they can just retreat, run away. No, they won't. So silver takes, silver takes, gold takes. I drop here or something. Um, the rook moves. I don't know. If I threaten to do this, 
That's such a mess. You know, I'm just going to assert that I'm alive here and somehow happy and let them help us figure out the rest. <sighs> My king is so vulnerable. Theirs is so not. So this is not going well. If they do rook takes, I could offer a rook exchange and then threaten to drop it back here, but they have places they can drop a rook also. I think this is the best I can manage. So this gold cannot defend both points. So next we attack the silver. Next we're also threatening to push this and try to win the gold. The very rapid attack. Um, Rook exchange again doesn't seem helpful. Basically, exchanging stuff seems terrible for me on account of this extremely weak point that they've already struck on. Um, very weird. Um, hmm. That that exchange seems to help me. If they exchange bishops. I've brought my gold one square closer to my king. I guess, of course, I saw that. Um, and... Take one step away from this bishop. They offer the bishop for a gold general that was just playing around. Um... There's no mate in one here, so I take the bishop. They hit my knight. It's fair. That's vulnerable. Um, Go for me. Hmm. Yeah, they could use this knight. I don't want to give it up with gain of tempo. Um, this seems like the best square for this bishop. I take a dragon. Thanks for the game. Yeah, it was not my intent to be deceitful there at the end. I don't think I was deceitful. Um, unfortunately, I don't get the results screen this time, just due, a deep, due to a technical issue. But yeah, that was eventful. Uh, when we play Central File Rook, we get eventful games. Um, so I think, in summary, I need to study more openings. If I'm going to play offbeat ways, if I'm going to try to refute what my opponent is playing, I need to know it a bit better. Um, but in general, I don't know, it would be nice to have openings that are more stable than what I currently play. But you guys enjoy watching me play these exciting uh, Central File Rook things, I think. So might stick with it for a while, at least on here. There will be a teaching ladder coming up soon. I probably should study up on right hand fourth file rook or something simple just for the sake of that. But yeah, hopefully we still enjoy watching and playing this together and we'll see you next time.